Hey everyone, uh, this video is about a follow-up video that I uploaded a while ago about how to show your work. Uh, I did another video which had a simpler example than this one and in here we are gonna work on another uh, rational expression equation that we gotta solve for x. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is during this COVID-19 crisis, many st students are working from home and then some students, some school districts are having their students take online quizzes or even tests. So in this case, the teachers want to just make sure that students are not cheating or using websites available uh, that shows you steps when it comes to solving an equation. So if you are one of those students, this video may help you a lot. Uh, I will show you how to show your work because you may realize it. You don't. You, you may think that you don't need to show your work because you know what you're supposed. Yeah, what you're doing, but that may not be the case for many teachers. Okay, here let's just put one example that's a little harder than the first one that I shared earlier today. So our example is x over x plus two minus 1 over x plus 5 equals 10 over x squared plus 7x plus 10. Okay, I will show you uh, how you can get either partial credit or no credit on this question even if you are showing your work. It's going to be because you're not showing all of the steps possible, by the way. Let me just give you a clue. Okay, so if, by the way, the, let me just explain the uh, mindset <clears throat> when solving this question, excuse me. Uh, this denominator is x plus 2 and this one is x plus 5. They're not the same. When you do not have a common denominator, if you want to subtract them, like if you want to subtract fractions, they should have a common denominator. If not, you got to make sure they do. So the, the only way of ending up with a common denominator is multiplication. So if you know that you're supposed to multiply the first denominator by the second one and second denominator by the first one, you may automatically end up with this. x times x plus 5 minus 1 times x plus 2. So, or maybe not even this. Let me just, let me just get rid of one of the steps as well. Minus uh, x. Oh, let me just not put it in the parentheses. I'm trying to show as less work as possible. Uh, minus x minus 2 okay and then let's just see what we can do okay let's just say it equals to 10 okay this is right however many teacher is not going to give you any credit for this because probably you're going to use the third party website to get this so let me show you how you can show each step to end up with this expression or equation. So let me just rewrite the equation over here. Uh, I don't want to mess up with the original one plus x plus 2 minus 1 over x plus 5 equals 10 over x squared plus 7x plus 10. Okay, so the way to end up with that red equation on the left is multiply the first denominator, which is this right here, by the other denominator, which is x plus 5. However, you cannot just take one fraction and then multiply its denominator by a number. Its value is going to change. In order to get rid of that problem, you should multiply the numerator by the same fraction. Now, this right here, is how you end up with that. When you don't show that blue part, 
on the right side, it usually sends a wrong signal to your teacher and tells that teacher tells tells that you either are so smart that you don't even need to show these steps or you got the answer of of another website or uh of of another student's paper or i don't know but that definitely sends mixed signals so let's just get rid of that and then continue working on the second fraction so this denominator is x plus 5 and if I want to end up with a common denominator I want it I want to multiply that one by x plus 2 which was the other fraction the, the other denominator so multiply this one by x plus 2 I don't have that much space so but that's what you need to do and then multiply the numerator by that fraction so this right here gives you that expression that's where it comes from but you need to show that you need to show your teacher that you know what you're doing okay now let's now that the denominators are common on the left side I can subtract the numerators which means I can just do x plus 5 times x this is distribution x times x is x squared 5 times x is 5x. Now the sign in between is minus. And then let's just work on the second numerator. It's x plus 2 times 1. When you multiply an expression by 1, it equals to itself. So I will subtract x plus 2. But... It doesn't say x plus 2 over here. I'm not sure if you realize it says x minus 2. This is, that's what, I'm, what I was talking about when I said you were going to send mixed signals to your teacher because it's almost impossible to come up with this answer right away for many students. Uh, so let's just show the steps then. x times 1 is x. 2 times 1 is 2. However, this expression should be in the parentheses. So when you distribute that minus over here, then you will end up with minus x minus 2. It didn't come out of nowhere right here. It was after that distribution. So let's just get back. To our question then. Uh, I'm bringing down x squared plus 5x over here and put my common denominator. My common denominator, I'm gonna work on that denominator over here in the bottom, bottom lower left corner. So it's x plus 5 times x plus 2, right? Let's do FOIL. Multiply the first terms, x times x is x squared. Multiply the outer terms, x times 2 is 2x. Multiply the inner terms, plus 5x. And then last terms, plus 10. And I have like terms in the middle, these two, let's combine them. Plus 7x, bring down the rest, x squared plus 10. Now, I hope you realize that the denominator on the right side is exactly the same as the common denominator. Of the left so which is x squared plus 7x plus 10 now this is my left side I'm bringing down the equal and the right side now one thing to realize we have an equation expressions on the sides with the same denominator which means you can now ignore them and work with the top. So the top is x squared. I have like terms over here. Positive 5x minus 1x. It is positive 4x. And then bring down that 2. Bring down the equal and your right side. Now. Once again, the only reason I ignored the denominators is because they are the same. Now, now I can work with the top. 
So, uh, we have like terms again. They're not on the same side. I want to put them all together. So if I subtract 10 from left and right, my quadratic equation is going to be a standard form, which means x squared, x, and numbers are all on the same side together. So bringing down whatever I have on the left is x squared plus 4x minus 12, and this one here equals to 0. Now I can factor this out. Uh, there are many ways to factor this out. I will only show you one of them. You may not be familiar with it. If you know some uh, another way to factor a quadratic out, you can go ahead and then do that. Uh, but my point is, do you see how many work we have done just to end up with this right here? Uh, that step, let me just find its corresponding expression on the right side. Uh, right here, these two. So when you multiply, you're going to end up with that line. So all these steps in the middle is missing on the left side. That definitely tells the teacher that you, you didn't show your work. Like in the best scenario, you didn't show your work and probably you're not going to get any credit for this question. So let's just continue and factor whatever we have out. Uh, for this one, the method I use is I break down the x squared and write it as x times x and then I break down 12 and write it as for this one I'm going to use 6 and 2 for a reason because the sum of these two numbers 6 and 2 should be positive 4 and I know if I change one of the, their signs I can end up with 4 positive 4 so if this is positive 6 and this is negative 2 when I multiply these two numbers I get negative 12 which is what I'm looking for and then when I add these together positive 6 plus negative 2 is negative positive 4 so and then I pair these two and these two together my answer would be let me use let me see I'm looking for a space without erasing any stuff over here let's just go ahead and use that space so x plus 6 should be paired and then times x minus 2 bring down the equal and zero the, uh, so whatever I put like this right here equation x squared plus 4x my equal minus 12 equals zero turned into this right there now this is called zero product rule when you have multiplication of two expressions and if it, it equals to zero either the first one should be zero or the second one should be zero now do not just put x equals negative 6, x equals positive 2. Like if, if you know that those are the answers, do not just put them because that's still not showing all of the steps. Uh, so what you would do, I would draw an arrow out of this and then say x plus 6 equals 0 and then I would draw another arrow out of this and then say x minus 2 equals 0. And then subtract 6 from both sides add 2 on both sides this one gives me negative 6 this one here gives me positive 2 uh, I don't care guys if you know how to end up with these answers by showing less steps if your teachers expectations are for you to show every single step possible you need to act accordingly. You need to show all of the steps possible so then you don't lose any points. Uh, so I really hope that these two, uh, the, the first example that I shared in another video and this one here uh, helps you out uh, regarding how to show your work, at, to what level, to what extent you need to show your work in order for not lose any points uh, on your assignments. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if, please like the video if you think the video helped you out and subscribe to the channel so whenever I share a video uh, with your homework assignments and with any other math related uh, top topics you can get notifications.
once again thanks for watching and i will see you in another video guys